In today's video, we are having a look at this cinema room for a young couple that also contains a home office. You will see how I combine ready-made cabinetry with customized steel frames to create a clean, spacious look. As for the functions of this room, we need to be able to accommodate up to 5 guests for tea and coffee and we need a home office with enough storage. For this small room, I wanted to put the bulkiest item as far away from the door. In this case, it was the couch. This allows people to be greeted with an inviting piece of furniture. At the same time, once you sit on that couch, you will find yourself in the Feng Shui power position. This means that you will have all of the energy sources such as the door and the window in your view angle. This is an important detail that will make you feel calmer when sitting on that couch and watching movies. Moving on to the media wall, this one is obviously facing the couch and that leaves us with a corner here where I'm placing the office. In order to create a clean zoning for the cinema area, I chose a rug that clearly defines where the cinema area is. It was important for that small space that the floor remains visible to the eye. This is why I went for a wireframe design for the coffee table and the media wall. The wireframe structure is made out of steel and is powder coated in black matte which adds a premium industrial finish. This cold material is balanced out with a warm wooden countertop. When I was designing this media wall, I wanted to create an almost cinematic composition by using principles of Gestalt theory. In this example here, we will find an offset gap frame around the already purchased TV. And although the composition is asymmetrical at first glance, the TV is still placed in the middle of the whole piece. This way, when you sit back, you will be able to enjoy each piece of the core separately and perceive this media wall as a three-dimensional painting. Looking back at the couch, we find a picture ledge where framed art is leaning onto a textured wooden wall. This streamlined gallery goes from the curtain to the desk and allows the clients to switch up framed artwork. The desk is built the same way as the TV unit for a cohesive design. As a matter of fact, the legs are again a wireframe structure with the same wooden tabletop. For hidden storage, I used ready-made cabinetry from the same line as the media wall. I chose here the Eket cabinets from IKEA in grey, which create a nice contrast with the black wireframe and the cool grey wall paint. As this is a rather smaller desk, I wanted to optimize the desk space as best as possible by placing the monitor on a so-called monitor riser. This allows you to have a more ergonomic use of your screen when working and it liberates the space under your monitor for stationary items. One other way to add real estate on the table was to attach a narrow drawing unit for paperwork and an open shelf for the client's LP collection. What I like about this unit here is that it is very narrow, has many ways of customization and it still has enough space for storing books and documents. In between the office and the sofa, we'll find a custom file cabinet that supports the existing color palette. At first, I thought about having this cabinet under a longer desk, but viewed from this angle, I thought that it would be better to leave it on its own. This way, it also doubles as a side table for the couch. For the lighting, most of it was already there. We have a nicely built soffit ceiling with dimmable spots and an integrated LED strip. So all I've done is extending the lighting by spreading multiple clusters of lights on eye level throughout the entire room. All of the chosen lights are of course dimmable and can create a lounge-like atmosphere by the push of a button. Now that there is a clean streamlined design, the client can experiment with layering different types of textures such as wool, rattan, textured cushions, potted plants, in order to add those final bohemian touches for a modern boho style. Now behind this door here is the entrance of this apartment. So if you're interested, you will find a separate video of this entrance in the upper corner of the screen. Thanks for watching, enjoy your space, and see you next time!